What up, y'all, guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Caleb Adams, and here we talk about everything fashion, everything style, and even a little bit of travel. The World Cup is finally here, and in honor of the World Cup, and me being a huge football fan, soccer for you guys in the US, I wanted to honor it and be in that World Cup spirit. So I'm bringing you guys this very special video telling you guys my top five most shout guys at this year's World Cup. As I just said, I'm gonna be only including players at this World Cup. 2018 Russia. So you won't be seeing players like David Beckham, Andrea Pirlo, Buffon, Xabi uh, Alonso, because well, either they're retired or they didn't qualify. And I mean, we all know that these guys are some of the best stress footballs of all time. I don't need to tell you guys that. And just to clarify for this video, when I say the most stylish, I'm referring to the whole package, not just the clothes they wear. I'm talking about the hair, everything that goes into style. I'm gonna be including it in this list. So somebody who may dress really well, but has a terrible haircuts, won't be included in this list and vice versa. If somebody has, you know, great haircut, you know, great grooming and all that kind of stuff, but the like the clothes that they wear is just whack, then I'm not gonna include them on this list either. And remember, all these are my personal opinion, but if you guys disagree or feel like I missed them on the list, just go ahead and comment them down below. Anyways, let's get right down to these top five most stylish players of the 2018 FIFA World Cup. <laughs> Number five on this list is gonna be Matt Hummels. And there could have been several different footballs I could have put in a number five position, but the reason that I went for Matt Hummels was because he brought a unique style that you don't really see a lot in modern day footballers anymore in like this generation. You know, the past generation, people like Andrea Pirlo, uh, Xavi Alonso, uh, even Buffon, even though he's still playing, he's still kind of considered the past generation. Um, these guys have a very classy vintage style. They don't wear any big logos, they don't wear any, uh, you know, crazy colors they stick the very plain and simple colors but very classic traditional looks and that's what Matt Hummels does that's that's the style that he brings to this list he has a very simple traditional classy look but it isn't an old-fashioned look and I think he pulls it off really well also his hair he's nothing crazy going on with his hair his hair is just a, it's very natural there's no fades in it, there's no parts or anything like that. And it really does suit his style extremely well. And just as well builds that onto that vintage classy look that he has. And for that reason, Matt Hummels is number five on this list. Number four on this list, and actually Matt Hummels' center back partner for club and country is gonna be Jerome Boateng. Now out of all the people on this list, Jerome Boateng's style is definitely the most influenced by American hip hop culture. He's a huge sneakerhead, and if you saw him on the street, you think he'd be a football player, a basketball player, and he can even pass as a rapper. And as far as I know, he does hang out with that crowd a lot, so that's probably where he gets that influence from. But, you know, even though his style is very uncommon with soccer players, he pulls it off extremely well. He really does kill it. And one of the things that he's mastered is an athlete wear look. He'll go out very, you know, he'll go out a lot with some joggers and with an athletic sweater or a hoodie, but it really does kill it. He's mastered the art of not looking too bummy, but not looking like he's trying too hard with this athlete wear stuff. As well, his hair is always on point and he can accessorize well. One of my favorite accessories that he wears is these like gold trim glasses that he does, that I mean that he wears. And I, I think they're the dopest thing and I, and I really want to get me a pair even though I don't need glasses. Number three on this list is the legend himself, Cristiano Ronaldo. Now, when he first started out, don't get me wrong, this guy cannot dress at all. It was bad, it was really, really bad. But I guess that's what money does because as time went on, the more money he started earning, the bigger teams he played for, the better his style got. And now fast forward to this point today, he's now a very fashionable guy. He has a style that suits him and that he pulls off really well. And that style is a very European male look. Like Cristiano Ronaldo, he's not trying anything new. He's not anything, you know, he's not, do he's not doing like crazy things or experimenting with different things. It's a very simple style, but one that suits him really nicely. And what makes him, you know, in my opinion, the thermal stylish guy is that he gets the simple things right, such as colors and all that, but as well as fit. His fits are on point. So a lot of guys who have a big, strong physique or muscular feel like they need to have really small t-shirts and small shirts to make them look bigger. But that is just not the case at all. And Ronaldo knows this. He buys shirts that are fit, you know, very fitting, but they aren't extremely tight and undersized. And it just enhances his physique even more. So that's what he really does extremely well. And that's why he's number three on my list. Number two on this list, and the friend and teammate of Ronaldo, and a legend himself is gonna be Sergio Ramos. 
Now, Sergio Ramos and Cristiano Ronaldo kind of have a similar path when it comes to style and fashion. They both started out really bad. Uh, he as well had really bad style starting out in soccer, but he has developed to this point now where he's a very fashionable guy. And, and in fact, in one aspect, they're very similar in their style. They both have a very typical European male style to them. But the reason that Sergio Ramos is higher up on this list than Ronaldo is because Sergio Ramos experiments a lot more with different things and the majority of the time, you know, kills it. So whereas Ronaldo plays it a lot more safe with his looks, Sergio Ramos does like to do different things. Not only does it go for, you know, the typical European male style, but he goes for streetwear stuff. He goes for dapper, classier looks. He does all those things and he kills all those things. And so that, that variety of his style is what really, you know, elevates him to that next level higher up than Ronaldo. As well, his haircuts, you know, ever since he got rid of that long hair has been on point. As well, his beard is really nicely trimmed and shaped up. And he has it like that the majority of the time, all the time that I've seen him. And for those reasons, he is number two. And finally, the most stylish footballer of the 2018 FIFA World Cup goes to, drum roll please, Hector Bellerin. Yes, the Arsenal man may be getting fourth place finishes with his club team, but on this list, he is getting that sweet first place and well-deserved. And unlike many guys who claim to be in fashion, he doesn't just stack up designer stuff and call it a day and thinks he you know claims that he knows fashion and all that. No, Hector definitely has an eye and a passion, a true passion for fashion. And you can definitely tell in his style and his outfits and his knowledge when he talks about fashion. He is actively in the fashion community and his style, you can't, you can't really pinpoint his style. He does literally everything. He's very fashion aware. He's, he's aware and conscious of trends and he, and, and he follows them, but he adds his own touch and flair to him every time. And that's how it is for all his outfits and style. Like he does wear some designer stuff, but everything that he wears, he isn't trying to copy or imitate anyone. He is being himself and himself, well, he knows his stuff. He knows what he's doing and he knows what he's wearing. And he really does have a very unique and very refreshing style, and especially footballers that I've seen. And for all those reasons combined, that makes him without a doubt, no question about it, the most stylish guy of this 2018 FIFA World Cup tournament. But that is it for the video. If you guys enjoyed the video, or if you're just hyped for this World Cup, drop a like. If you guys felt like I got my list wrong or felt like I needed to add someone to it, let me know down below in the comments. And if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe, and I'll see y'all next time. Peace.